care of the things that I do when I get paid. Uh, so if you're just like me, uh, you're probably tempted to use extra money lying around on your bank account to spend somewhere else. So that you uh, here are the tips that work for me and for us as family of three. So having a rough idea where your money is going is definitely one of the best things that you should do uh, considering thinking of the allocations that you wanna do pay yourself first. So for me is like depending on 10% to 15%. So I was, when I get paid, I try to do $200 to put it somewhere on a savings account. Then depending on the, how the stock market is going, uh, I might put it on stock market, I might put it on MP2. This is just what works for me. I've also allocated some money that goes for our daughter for her co college fund. And other things is we also set aside money for travel. Well, well at least it should cover our tickets when we go back home in the Philippines. So that's what we've been doing because that is important to us. So depending on your uh, financial goals or personal finance needs, uh, you definitely have to look on that and see if it's gonna fit your budget. So other stuff that we I step aside my money is to pay off my debt, our debt. Ever since uh, we paid all our debt, we're all, we feel that we have like given a pay rise because most of our money is now for, for us and it's not going to pay on somewhere else to pay the bank and avoiding debt uh, don't use credit card if you really don't need to and if you can't pay in full right now then it's definitely you can't afford it so so that's the thing that i've been doing before i swipe my card or buy something other things that i do is i step aside for groceries and also if we're on town then definitely fill, fill the tank of fresh petrol and gas so that we're not worrying about uh filling out the gas for another week or so that's been we also consider the discount that we're getting and finding the best uh, petrol station is the cheapest that we been also trying to do get those uh, discounts and over time it's gonna add up and save us quite a bit of money we slowly building is our emergency fund because it's, it's really important for us as well to have an extra money if something goes wrong and other protections that we signed up is uh, uh, insurance type insurance uh, mortgage protections depending on your situations is the things but i don't recommend doing uh, savings with the insurance protections the so-called financial advisor is just selling you something that you don't need i know uh, should be investing rather than uh, putting it on the savings also losing value over time but depending on your risk appetite the more risk investment you put your money on other things that i set aside money is like a sinking fund so if my checking account is going low and we have to pay some things i have like a sinking funds to cover that thing and it's kind of like a small emergency money so called but i always gonna feel that sinking fund money actually don't have super accurate budget but that's just working for us i know we probably should be writing all the budget but we spend food for about 280 to 300 dollars per week so it's quite expensive living here in new zealand it's kind of trying to save money as much as possible so it is what it is but Hey. Also, a uh, final tip is if you have kids, you should definitely don't bring them on your food shopping. But for us, uh, she she gets bored. We bring her on, and 
we just kind of trying to hide the aisle that she might pick something she's not gonna eat and that's just know what's worked for us and at the end of the day we just wanted to have some fun as well and and with that that's all about this video and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys